Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and we are back at Trial Mountain for the fourth race in this World Circuit Series. It is the American Club and Cup 700. You'll notice that we've already done first. I had a problem with the microphone the last time I did this. So we are heading back here to give this another run. The car that I'm choosing is the Camaro and the car settings are racing soft tires and pretty much everything else is pretty much standard. Uh, I've got my usual air cooler. I've got a supercharger high end, racing air cleaner, silence for exhaust, carbon brakes, and we've got the power restrictor output and ballast all maxed out. So let's enter the race and get on with this one. The American Club and Cup 700 with the Trial Mountain Circuit over five laps. So here we go, no need to worry about fuel and tyres for this particular race. What we have to be minded of is the power and the speed of this Camaro, especially as we're going through the traffic. We want to try and keep this clean, we need to pick our overtakes and also be very careful about when we are accelerating. If you've got the slightest bit of steering angle on, the back end wants to come around and say hello third gear through there, careful about how we're applying the accelerator as I said, a little bit deep into there, don't want to tangle with these cars so just going to stay behind them for the moment, we're actually going pretty slowly, we'll get them down the straight or we might even be able to get it up the inside on this particular corner, yep, that's set us up nicely for this straight now. Yeah, you've got to be really, really careful about how you get the power down with this car, with this particular setup. It's super quick, but it needs a lot of respect. So, braking just before the curb stones there, down into third. Let's just get onto the back of this Mustang. There's an opportunity open up to overtake through here. That's going to compromise us a little bit on our line, so just staying off the accelerator a little bit just to get the car threaded through there. Third gear on this one as well. Don't apply the accelerator too quickly, otherwise you're gonna be in that wall. I still went a little bit too deep. Little lack of concentration there. Second gear through here. Apex that one, bring over to the left, then to the right. Just cut the corner a little bit. Whoa, you can see there. And try and get the accelerator down with the slightest little bit of steering angle, it's going to come around. That's the end of the first lap. We're doing okay, we're up to third place already. Whoa, up to second place. That overtake fell quite nicely. Second gear through here, never going to overtake through here, so just keep this nice and easy. Follow the Corvette through. Again, just following through here. We can quite easily do this overtake down the straight. Just leaving it in third gear. Now we can either do it through this corner possibly. That's one of my favourite overtaking places on this track. Or you can do it down the straight because this car has just got so much power. I mean, already we're pulling away one second, 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4. Watching for the breaking point down here. A little brown patch just before the, the curbs. Gently introduce the power. Feathering through there. No need to get too aggressive. Get it slowed down over the top. Ooh, a little bit of a slide as we start to put the power down. Those of you that follow me will know once I get in front, that's why I tend to spin it. Really need to give this car a lot of respect. There's an awful lot of power underneath our right foot. Oh, 
by lighting up the rear tyres there. It's trying to get the power down. We are 6.8 seconds ahead as we go into the third of five laps. Fourth gear over the top. Over the top of that one. Just be careful. You don't apply the power too quickly through there and spin. It's one of my favourite spin spots. Third gear, wait, wait, wait for the power. Slowly introduce it as the steering unwinds. Oh, a little dab a second to get it slowed down there. Just leave it in third through here. Again, just third as we go through here. Four beams down through the tunnel. Just coming up for 12 seconds ahead of the second place runner. We did a 158 last time. Braking just before the curbs. Down into third. Following it through here. Again, don't be too greedy through here. Got plenty of time. Braking in a straight line. Third gear on the exit, down the hill, third gear, careful introducing the power, don't drift out too wide. Braking at the beginning of the curbs, second gear, and it turned in, keep left, let it swing across over that curb, enables you to get the power down nice and early for this long straight. It's going to be nearly 20 seconds ahead of the second place person as we cross the line. Braking at the beginning of the curves. Fourth gear over the top of that one. Over the top of this one. Oh, a little bit of a little bit of a twitch under acceleration there. Third gear, bring it towards this curb. Careful with the accelerator. Slow down, third gear through here, it's fine. Again, third gear through here, just balancing it with the brake pedal. Again, third through here, just looking at that little ground, ground gravelly bit. Once we get it straight for it, Twenty four point seven seconds ahead. I remind you that we are on the hard settings. It's actually really surprised that we are pulling away this much. If you think I'm doing all right on this one, you wait to a video coming up very, very soon, which is a real level up. We're going to be taking one of the rally cars on the dirt and I struggle like mad. Some people have mentioned that I'm making this look too easy. Uh, I'm only average at best. When we go up against real races, you'll see that I am very average. Real human beings walk all over me but once we start getting up on the gravel you watch I am really going to struggle and there are some races in this this uh, world circuit series that are really tough so um, it's not all easy right now we've um, had a few good cars around this circuit It's been quite fortunate. It's not always the way. Third gear. Oh, caught the wall there. Oh, loads of sparks. That was nasty. And unnecessary. When you're 36 seconds ahead, there is no need for that sort of stupidity. We really need to be toning this down quite a lot. 
really don't need to be driving flat out. The problem I find is if I then start to drive more conservatively and slower, that's when I tend to have incidents if I drive at my normal pace then my concentration is up, I'm more alert, I don't make those mistakes. Sometimes if I back off I just want to get mistakes. If you find the same, drop me a comment in the uh, comment below the video. Let me, uh, let me know whether that's just a me thing or whether you know, some of you struggle with the same thing when you're out in front and then you relax. So for now, last lap, nice drag to the line and we're going to be what, nearly 40 seconds ahead of the car behind. So a nice easy win in the Camaro, a nice setup on that. Uh, it wasn't the cleanest of races, there were still one or two issues that we had. Uh, 41.7 ahead, fastest lap, no surprise. You do get the gold trophy, 90,000 credits, unfortunately not a clean lap. So a clean lap bonus would have been nice. But there we go. So that is going to be this circuit done. Uh, we'll be heading off for another of the American circuits in another video coming very soon. For now, thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please consider hitting the subscribe button to support the channel. I am trying to grow it towards a thousand users, which is pretty difficult. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you ever so much for supporting me. Your sticking with me is very, very much appreciated. And uh, you're very, very welcome to be following me. I do enjoy it. And I also enjoy all of the comments that I'm getting right now. The suggestions, challenges, corrections, um, hints and tips from people that are helping to make people that are new to Gran Turismo making their experience a little bit better but there we go that is that particular race done in the Camaro with the tuning settings hope you enjoyed it I look forward to seeing you on another video coming very soon for now take care bye bye